Hello again, everyone. It is the Black Knight. That's right, coming today from the Red Rocket Truck Stop, which is, of course, you know, is kind of my keep. It's my my player home away from home when I want to get away from everybody because I haven't put up a recruitment beacon. And as you, if you've been watching the last few videos, you know that I turned this into a bit of a uh, oh dear. Ugh. I hope you expect me to jump down like that. Uh, not at all. I've turned this into a bit of a, uh, a, a robot center. No, please get, around, get away from... No, ah! I get away from the robot. I've made it a robot hub of sorts. We have, uh, if I pull up the, the workshop here. We've got 29 people here, and they're all robots, okay? And they're all headed off to one settlement or another. They're all in supply lines. And that's going to change. Because I set this up as a robot hub because I was never going to put any people here and therefore the happiness was always going to be 50 so why why not just have it as a robot hub because then I can make the happiness at my other settlements so much better and you can see I've been fooling around a little bit with the contraptions kind of stuff here I have a pyrotechnics <clears throat> to stop doing that I have a pyrotechnics mill I have an ammo thing going on here but more on that later did the dog just fall on me but I have discovered... Now, let, let's discuss, step back here a moment. I set this up as a robot hub. I set up the mechanist lair as a robot hub. And I use the mechanist lair because that's a broken settlement. You can't set up a, uh, a recruitment beacon. You can't bring settlers there. You cannot uh, have food there. You, can, you have no options to cr even create, you know, with the little f planters boxes and stuff like that. You can't uh, come up with food. So it's basically the perfect settlement for robots because, for, you know, besides the obvious thematic qualities there, you uh, you can't have people there. So you may as well have robots. The happiness is never going to be over 50. This settlement can be over 50 if I really want to make it a settlement. And I'm starting to think I might do that. I might actually build this up from here straight up into the sky. I don't know how much more skybox I have. Uh, I might wait until I get the tools from the, the Vault-Tec stuff. I have a few Vault-Tec tools, but I haven't unlocked them all yet. Because uh, I haven't done the Vault-Tec, uh, you know, add-on, the Vault-Tec DLC yet. Uh, though I'm coming close to doing that. I want to get a couple things set up first, and then I might do that. But I have discovered that I have access to another broken settlement. Yes, I did not know I had this. I know it showed up. I thought it was more of a glitch. But Boston Airport... And we can show some supply lines. You can see we have a few supply lines coming out of here. Boston Airport is another broken settlement, just like the Mechanist Lair, where it is perfect. You can't recruit people. You can send them there. That's a lot of work. You can't recruit people. And if you get them there, you can't have food. So therefore, they're going to be unhappy. So this is another perfect spot uh, for robots. And the only thing I have there is robots. I, put a few, I found a few extra robots that I have uh, had at... Um, that were left over from uh, Hangman's Alley when I was moving the robots around. Not sure why that's up to 54. Do we have an extra happy robot? Totally confused on that. I thought there were four robots. Is there a person just hanging out there? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll look into that shortly. Uh, I have been sending cows there. So that maybe the cows are a really happy cow. They're happy cows. What was that brand of cheese? The happy cow cheese thing? Uh, I thought you only got this as a, a usable workshop if you sided with the Brotherhood of Steel. But I, I sided with the Minutemen. I didn't kill the Brotherhood of Steel. But I didn't hardly do anything with the Brotherhood of Steel. But apparently I've got the Boston Airport. So I thought, hey, let us move our robots down to the Boston Airport. It's a much better robot hub. And uh, when I built it up, I built it up uh, in an interesting way that it makes sense. It, it's, it should be a good place to check out. But first of all, let us... Did I put down that vault control module here somewhere? No? Well, let's throw that down. You can put it down anywhere. We'll put it over by the robot control center here. If you go in to... Let's see. Power. I don't know why I'm getting this video issue here. Connector and switches. Is there a special... Is it under power? Where the heck is it? Defense, stores, cages. 
Are there special stuffs? No. Miscellaneous, I'll bet. There it is. The vault Tech Population Management System. Now, this is one of the most useful things that you can... Oh, I have to put what power to it. got to power this up. Because what I can do now... Let me show you what else I've done here. Let's, we can walk over. If you look down... Okay, you'll see there's a whole bunch of garden plots. More than you can see here. And I've, I've planted carrots. And the reason for this is that you can go into the vault tech management system, if this works. Vocational overview. Oh, that's interesting. You can control that stuff there, too. Caravans. There's 29 caravans. Assigned to farming. All of them. Okay. Now they're all assigned to farming. Which is will bring them all back from their caravan work. Are they immediately here? Let's see. I think it takes some time. They actually have to roll in. So while they're rolling in and getting themselves lined up on all this wonderful farmland, let's go buy a cow. That will, if you go out to Ten Pines Bluff, and buying cows is a very useful thing. And not just for like the meat of it, which if I were playing in survival mode, that might be a, a good option too. I don't, get, I don't get a lot of meat off them and they're, they're not real attractive looking cows. So we need a cow. Come on. It'll get there eventually. Now, whenever you zip into a, a settlement like this, there's a chance that there'll be like gunfire going on and whatnot. We're, we're okay with that. All, all my settlements have more than enough defense. Everything's copacetic. Nobody's freaking out. Okay. Now, if you come down here, if you look, now there, there's, uh, there's my... Actually, it's a more basic settlement than some of mine, but there's my Ten Pines Bluff settlement. There's a lot of guns along the top, some rockets up there, lasers. If you go out towards this bridge, there's a bridge over this way. Where is the bridge at? I go left, there it is. As you can see, here we have a bridge. Somewhere under the bridge, if you kind of rock crawl your way down, is this wonderful woman. Hey, I got a question for you. I've got a really top tier piece of cow flesh for sale, if you know what I mean. Okay, that sounds way more sexual than what I think she intended. But we're just going to buy the Brahmin. Sure. I'll take her. Oh, great, great. Just tell me where you want me to send her, and she's all yours. Now, what we want to do is send the cow to the Boston airport. Apparently, there are some places you can't send them to. Like, I don't know why the Red Rocket truck stop's not there, or the castle. Can you be maxed out on cows? Are there certain places that can't have a cow? Good doing business with you, man. I'm sure I'll see you around. Thanks, Kelly. So that cow's headed off because apparently you can just tell the cow to go to Boston Airport and it knows. It knows where the Boston Airport is. But let's go back to the, the Red Rocket truck stop. Hopefully, all of my robots are back. Or at least enough of them that we can... Do a symbolic moving of the robots here, and we can get some things happening. Ah, the load screens. Let's do the time warp again. Okay, we're back. Now, do we have bunches of robots? We do. Now, here's an interesting side note. I've noticed, like, Sergeant Oddball, we made him a tank. We did a whole video on that. But my, my robots are undressing themselves. They're going back to uh, their default, and I don't know why. I, I have to look that up. Boom Boom Mancini, he was a, a melee bot. And so, I don't know, maybe there's you can only have so many... We need to... Come on, we need to get into... There we go. Okay, Major Major. We're going to move him. To the Boston Airport.
Let's see, what are some other... We want to use some of the ones that are working. Razor Ramon! We're going to move you! To the Boston Airport. Try and pick the good ones here, you know. Private Splish Splash! We're going to move you to the Boston Airport. I'm going to I'm going to leave the the undressed ones here the the downgraded ones here if I because I'm going to run out of room I know that K we're going to named after one of my favorite pizzerias K's Pizza oh it is so good Boston Airport Scrapping Steve we're going to move you. Actually, you know what? We're not going to move Scrap and Steve. Because if he ends up staying here, I wonder if I should set him up as a... No, you know what? We're going to move him to Boston Airport. Heck with it. Because the odds of me setting up a bunch of robot manned uh, scrapping things, especially here, not real likely. And he is at least dressed. Trajectory! Yes. Moving you to the Boston Airport. And you might say, why are you going over these? Just so you could see them one last time. Salty. Moving you. Boston Airport. Win Hualin. At least he's together. Boston Airport. I don't know. Are they all going to unzip themselves? Jezebel. Oh, yeah. Move you. Man, that is one annoying robot. Boston Airport. Officer McGillicuddy! Doop, 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 doop. Of course, Boston Airport. Boom, boom. Oh, Sergeant Longshot! Move him to the Boston Airport. Did we already move him to Boston Airport? No, there's Boston Airport. The Great Cornholio. Boston Airport. See all these guys are all they're all on the move already. They're not they're not even waiting. Colonel Mayberry. Boston Airport. I wonder if there is there a maximum number of robots you can have that are modified. I mean, have I exceeded that with my extreme love of robots? All right, patrolman, you're gonna move too. I I don't know what happened to all the cool stuff I put on you, but all right, let's move. Boom, boom. Boston Airport. Long shot's already going. They're already going. Let's see. Anybody not walking? Boom, boom. Corporal o Captain O'Malley. Let's see. Move him. Two. Boss Airport. He's been moved. He's been moved. He's been... Sergeant Oddball. Man. I may eventually upgrade him. But I, I feel like there might not be a point. If I upgrade him, then another one might come completely unglued. Romero. He, I've upgraded him twice. And you know what? Primero's not going. Primero's going to stay here. Is he assigned? Yes, he's assigned to food. We're going to keep him here for the time. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Primero, you're a supply line. Back to home. Where the heck is it? Come on. There's, a, there's already someone assigned to Sanctuary, so we'll have to wait. Wait till they all come back. Apparently we've still got some more robots inbound there. Oh, here's another, another one of my pizza bots. And he was all set up. I, mean, I don't know why these are these are un, you know they're coming undone. It's got to be a save file thing. Okay, wait a minute. If I've reassigned all of the caravans to food, then why do I even have a caravan go? Why can't I send something to, to sanctuary? Uh, I should be able. Coastal cottage. 
Spectacle Island, Somerville Place. Can't seem to do it. That's just weird. I mean, right now, right now, if we look at supply lines, we've got stuff coming out here going to Red Rocket, but I mean, we should be able to have one going back. Doesn't make any sense. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, t I'm gonna take a nice long nap here and give them some time to get there. Now the reason for that is you don't want to be in the same cell with any of those robots because then they can be killed. They're they're vulnerable while they're uh, while they're being transferred. You know, I, I tried walking Ironhide back once and that didn't work out very well. All right, we got more stuff here, more stuff to move, and some of them are actually even. Zap and Zelda, move, Zap and Zelda to the Boston Airport. Out of my gourd? Boston Airport. Ah, oh, Boston's maxed! Hmm. There's ways of getting around that. If I had myself some grape mentats. Well, we have enough to make some. Okay, we had just enough for two rounds of Great Mentaz. What a surprisingly pleasant day. Perhaps it will lift your spirits. Let's maybe we should see how many we have here. We got one, two, three, four, five. I don't know that we have all the robots here yet. Six. Let's before we pop the great mentats. Let's make sure we have them all. Let's let's sleep for like another twenty-four hours. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, this looks like more robots. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. An eight, nine. We might have one straggler out there someplace. I might just might be counting right. But we're gonna do something interesting here. Matter of fact, you know what? This is gonna be so interesting. I'm gonna do a save first because I'm not gonna waste this if it's not. You save. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see do the great mentats stack. Okay, let's go to stats. Currently, where are we at? Our charisma is 15, which is pretty darn good. So I go bang, bang. Charisma's 20. So it didn't stack. No, that was a complete waste. Let us load. <laughs> so they don't stack. I might, it might extend the time. And apparently I'm only one or two shots away from being addicted to great mentats. Which I haven't used them in a while, so I don't know, that seems seems wrong. Alright, so we're gonna use one great mentat here, just to get myself up to twenty. Okay. I'm not addicted, but we're gonna move to Boston Airport. You there, Portnoy. You want to be quick. Boston Airport. Wreck Gar. Boston Airport. Out of my gourd. At the Boston Airport. Let's see, what other ones do we have here? That's an Unza Primero. We might keep him. He's going to be the last one to go. Lightning Larry. I put so much effort into Lightning Larry. He was he was a sentry, man. Flash, you were built up. I just I just saw Flash. Oh, we're maxed. 
That's it. That's as much as I'm going to be. Sergeant Pickles! Come on. That's as many as I could do. Sergeant Pickles will have to stay here. Luigi. All right, we're going to still have some robots, I guess, here at my, uh, my estate. But we're going to get rid of all of this stuff here. And send them someplace. We're, they're gonna, all gonna get assigned. Let's let's get some of these. Lightning Larry got moved. Flash got Flash is still here. We couldn't move him. Supply line Flash to the let's see Dalton Farm if we can do it. Why am I limited here? I have no idea why I can't get everything out of this. I mean, Dalton Farm. None of the, we should have every possibility here. <sighs> so annoying. Okay, we'll send him out to Longfellow's cabin for the time being. Yeah, it's a long trek though for a little robot. The Finch Farm's always a problem. Ray Garden? Ironhide. They unzipped Ironhide. Man! That just takes... And I can't send him to the slog. Why? Man, this is annoying. Alright, where can we send him? We'll send him to... That'd be a good place. Well, I mean, he's just Ironhide now. He's just he's just a regular roller robot until I can figure something out for him. Where would we see him? Or get... Dalton, now I can send somebody to Dalton Farm. Why? Wait a minute. Where's Flash? Lightning Larry. Supply line him to... Why can't I send Ironhide to Dalton Farm and I can't send him to Dalton Farm? Like this, none of this makes any sense. Luigi. We'll send Luigi to... We'll send him to the castle. Ironhide, supply line. Can we send him to... Coastal Cottage. He's one of my favorites. I want to send him someplace good. We'll send him to Boston Airport. Between the two. He'll be the link. Sergeant Pickles, supply line, someplace. He's a little bit beefier. We'll send him someplace tough. Finch Farm. Flash is walking. Ironhide's walking. Primero, supply line. Um, I could send him to Finch Farm. I've already sent one to Finch Farm. Why would... We'll send him up to the Warwick homestead. It's a long walk, but... Remember, the main reason I try to set all my robots to supply lines is then they can't get killed. Although, apparently they can get all their parts taken off of them. Man, that is annoying. I cannot tell you how annoying that is. You know how much... How much junk, how much, basically cash you lose when you're doing all that. I mean, it's just building up these robots is so expensive, and they're all just coming apart on me, and I don't know why. And we're back, and it's not good news. It's apparently they, anytime the robot's in a cell that gets reset, you know, the cell's reset when the stuff comes back, yeah, they can just lose all their parts. They just do that. Well, isn't that just great? Hurrah. And huzzah. 
Any robots up top that I have to... So basically, there's no point in upgrading any robots. Ever. Because at some point, what's going to happen to you is they're going to lose all their parts. It's just going to happen. And, man, that's an expensive thing to do. The expensive thing they have to put up with. Now, we've talked all this about Boston Airport. I guess I should at least show you Boston Airport. Let's do this thing here. You might say, why am I getting into my jet pack? Well, I, we might just see a little bit more of the area this way. Let's go to the Boston Airport. Now, what I've done with Boston Airport is, again, you can't have it as some sort of player sort of thing. Well, you can have it as a player house if you really want to, but it's not in a great area. But what you can do is you can set it up as a great factory because it's a nice flat area. It's set up so that you can set up your teleporter if you're going to choose to fight for the, uh, the Brotherhood. I just, they're just not a palatable faction for me. They all seem like a bunch of jerks, so I didn't do that. But I was surprised to find out I had this area and was able to work it up into something kind of nice. And my drugs have worn off, but that's okay. I don't really need them. Here we have it. Here we have my Boston Airport factory. Okay? Which if we've got any, uh, yeah, we've got some robots going here, so we could get them assigned. At some point. Identity confirmed. Yeah, lots of robots. And they're all kind of interfering with what I've got going here. If you'll notice, we have this little piece of equipment which sucks every single thing that's in the workshop out of it. Which includes water. So that if you happen to be in the cell, it'll instead of having to go grab the water, it'll take it all out of the workshop so that it can respawn again. But I've done more than that. See, this this takes up a bunch of vertical conveyors. You'll notice I have cows here. Cows make fertilizer, which will come out of that. Go up through here. And it comes out of this area here, dumps it into this hopper. And you can see here right now it's emptying all the water out. Purified water. And we have a number of options here. We have... I, uh, a builder, which I've got set up to take steel. Oops, see, I'm standing on the, the finger. A food processor, which I haven't even really set up to make anything, but I'm having putting foodie kind of things into there. Not sure what food I want to make out of that yet. Have we made anything? Did we set it up for anything? Now this, the ammunition plant, that we have set up. And what should come out of here, as you can see, 280 shotgun shells. Now, I don't have scrapping stations set up, so I have to bring junk here periodically. What's this? Sometimes the batter for bags of fertilizer. Can we pick that up? Oh, dear. I didn't want to get out. I wanted to pick up the bag of fertilizer. Fine. Is it too heavy to pick up? Too heavy to carry. Okay, fine. But I bet you I can drop it here. I could put it right in, actually. Watch this. Transfer my my junk. Two bags of fruit. So you set this thing up, and the way you set this up, we have these component sorters. And you put one component each of what you need to make whatever you want. We need fertilizer, lead, and plastic. And if anything with those components in it go comes into this area, it sends it that way. See, that's, that's some lead going on in. And if it gets enough to make more uh, more bullets, and it makes more stuff, then it will. Uh, you can see it start working up and down and manufacturing things. Baseball been very good to me. Now, all the clothes require adhesive and cloth, so that's just kind of an easy... And this is whatever isn't sorted out to those things. Now, what you'll notice from the roof is I have a lot of missile launchers. 
Certainly more to cover anything that comes up the road, appears on that roof. And, should things ever sour between me and the Brotherhood, yeah, they're toast. I have their entire base covered with rocket launchers. No one's walking outside. Not without my permission. And if we drop down a level, you can see, down two levels, uh, that is a normally inaccessible pathway right into the Brotherhood base. This is all chopped off up here. So without a rocket pack, you couldn't get in there. But you can see if they if they walk through here, yeah, it's not going to end well for them. Now, the reason I brought the rocket pack is there's something I want to try. I don't know how well this is going to work. I want to see if I can get over to the top of that. Just missed it. So maybe that's by design. Maybe they don't want you going up there. You can't get in from the bottom, I've tried. At least I haven't found a way in through the bottom. See, you come in here. Anything on this end? Got some barred doors. Everything's out of order. That takes you outside. That takes you outside. You can see my building there. That's I guess I could try that three or four times, but I really think it's probably just a little too far. I can't build any higher. What if you did a running jump? I can't we back up. Let's get a little running head start here. Oh, we did it! And, we <laughs> and yet we didn't. That felt like there might be a wall there, folks. I think that might be... That's just for decoration. Okay, one with... Third time's a charm, right? Obviously third time's a charm. We did it. We did it. Third time was the charm. I just delayed a little bit on the rocket boost. Oh, look, there's stuff here. So they obviously intend you to get here. It's just... How? Guess that was, that was the only... I can't imagine another way of doing it. Can't imagine another way to do it. Like, I think you'd have to build a huge structure there and to jump across and get that little bit of drugs. I wonder if they meant this to be a scrappable thing. At some point, it's not part of the... Yeah, it's not part of the... Whatchamacallit. Part of the settlement. Anything else cool up here? Just a bunch of burnt-out cars. Got a great view, of course. Is there any other... Wait a minute. There's stairs? There's stairs to... That is so disappointing. My goodness. <laughs> well, gang, at least you know. Now, now you know how to get up there. There's, there's multiple paths. Okay, come on, tragic story. We're going to get you assigned here. I probably won't make you watch all the assignments and whatnot, but you can see the plan. Yeah, well, mate, what the heck? You know, let's see. Supply line for out of my gourd, he should be going to Finch Farm. Because they're out of their gourd there. Does he look really short? That, it's like a mini bot. Colonel Mayberry. Uh, let's see. Outpost Zimonja. That's a nice long walk. Let's see. Wenhua. Supply. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to send K. Um, let's see. It's the slog. The castle. 
She's originally a Denzian of the castle. But I think, you know what? They could use good pizza at Abernathy Farm. Wen Hua. Let's send him to Ten Pines. They have a lot of beef there nearby. Officer McGill. Wow, this is hard to even do. Major, major. No, we don't want to move him. We don't want. We want to supply line him. Was I doing that? Was that the problem? I was doing supply line instead of move. Was that why it was? Well, that will just feel silly if that was the case. Sanctuary Hills. No, we're gonna send him someplace heavy duty. Murkwater Construction. Supply line. Salty. Let's send him to the Tav Tavern de Bodars is spectacle, a spectacle island for Salty. Surrounded by the water. Long shot. The castle. The great Cornholio. What's particularly goofy? He's a sunshiny character. Let's do sunshine tidings. Private splits, splish splash. Come on. Boathouse. Razor Ramon. The Warwick Homestead. Let's see, some someplace rough, because he's got cannons on him. How about... Yeah, Somerville Place is pretty far out there. There's usually trouble at Jamaica Plain. Well, they're all assigned, and I, after a while it was just a matter of just assign people to anything here. I don't think we have all the bots in yet, so more are going to be coming. I might take a quick nap. I set up a Oh, what you gonna call it? Uh, the sleeping bag over here. You can see them walking off into the distance, especially the ones with the red lights. Okay, slept for 24 hours. They're all off on their way. Do we have any more bots that have come in that are unassigned? That's gonna be the question. Yes. Okay. Let's get some assignments going. Supply line. Man, I thought I sent someone to Ten Finds Bluff. Yeah. The slog needs somebody, and he's got a flaming sword and stuff. That that'll work out well. For now, until he gets completely un undone. Guns and Roses. Okay, this is one of the ones I think got unzipped earlier. Yeah, let's send him to... Let's see, some, what's the, the, the roughest looking place on the map here? Bunker Hill. Yeah, Bunker Hill could probably see a lot of action. Oh, you know what? Let's send him all the way back to Sanctuary Hills. We need, a, we need some Sanctuary Hills support. Jezebel, supply line, croup manor. I don't even have to wander there. The creepiest place, one of the creepiest places in game. Brahman unassigned. Eh? Is that everybody? That's crunched out another ten shotgun shells since I'm here. Nothing else is really 100% set up, and I haven't been dumping huge amounts of. Uh, huge amounts of scrap into this thing just yet, but it is kind of neat. I don't know if it's not more expensive to make them yourself than it is to uh, buy them. You can, they're all controlled here. You can. This isn't really a how to use contraptions kind of stuff here, but you can... You can see select an item to make. 
And depending on what it is, and I, I like the shotgun shells. Two lead, two plastic, two fertilizer. Let's do the time warp again. Just give it another 24 hours just to see anybody else show up. Uh, yeah, but they're a sign, looks like. There's out of my gourd. These are guys coming back. Lightning Larry! No, we have, an un we have unassigned robots coming in. All right, Lightning Larry, who used to have so much good stuff. Didn't I send someone to Bunker Hill already? Yeah, I can wreck Gar. I'm not I'm almost positive I assigned wreck Gar, but... Let's see. Warwick Homestead. That's a good one. By the way, I have it set up so that you can turn off the upper uh, sections here with that switch, and there's another one down there. But the nice part about this is, is that, you know, if you leave everything turned on, at least it'll be running whenever you're there. Unfortunately, um, oh look, some more stuff's happening. What's this here? Is this more water has appeared? Unfortunately, the, the mechanisms only work while you're looking at them. Even while I take a nap, it doesn't really do anything. So I can't let this running all the time... And then just, you know, come back and have like a 10,000 rounds of ammunition made for me and 1,500 water. I have to be here. So I guess it would be OP if they uh, overpowered, if they did it any other way. But it would be more realistic, you know, if they had it so that you could just leave it running. What would be really ideal then is you could set up a bunch of scrapping stations, set up a bunch of manufacturing things. You'd have unlimited amounts of stuff going in. And, yeah, the, the mops tend to fall. That's... Silly mop. It's a hose. Yeah, well, the hose will fall down too, I guess. And you don't want to put it right in the components sort of here. What we'll do is we'll put this up in the hopper. Transfer a hoe. My junk? Hoe. See if it falls out of there again. Sometimes it'll stay on. Sometimes the hoe will stay on. It's... But can you imagine if I could just set this up, you know... Obviously, here we can't set up scrapping stations, but if you could set up a, something where you had scrapping stations... I mean, theoretically, you could really create an infinite amount of stuff if you just let the game run 24-7, 365. It would, then it would keep cranking stuff out, but... Yeah. Ah, the Brotherhood. But we have some limitations. So, but you know, the nice thing is you don't have to be staring at it. You have to just be in the cell. So... If you leave all your stuff running, if you happen to drift in here doing something else, you know, you're walking around out there, I'll bet you it'll, it'll kick in. Ooh, here it is. Looks like there's some plastic going in. Come on, stamp it. No stampy stampy. Not willing to work with me, are you guys? Something else went ding. Okay, we got lead. More lead and some more lead. Could it be enough to... It must need something else. Fertilizer. We need more fertilizer. That's some fertilizer, maybe. You'll get to see it in operation. Okay, now it's gotten plastic. And it must be shy one plastic or something like that. Great. Some other stuff will get in there too, like when you get the hoe or something like that. Well, gang, other than taking in the amazing view up here and looking at really this, this thing's very heavily armed. What's our what's our defense level on this? It's over a thousand, so we've got a lot of stuff going on. 27 people. I had 29 at the other one. We, there should be a way of doing that. I mean, I could build a couple more robots. I build bunches of robots. No, I don't want to do that. But there's no point in upgrading them, so just, just build them, I guess. Here you have, you know, a little American flag. I wonder, now, if you have an American flag up, does that mean that you're pro, uh, 
Pro Enclave? Is that what that means now? But here we've got the, uh, the Minutemen flag, American flag, Minutemen flag. Well, I mean, American flag from this, you know, universe here. I course, made sure to put these flags up so that, you know, all the Brotherhood could see them. Like, don't get any ideas. This is ours. Minuteman. And this is, this is kind of, you know, all linked to that, you know, mechanist dream kind of thing. It's, it's neat watching robots crash into each other and just zipping around the Commonwealth. There's a cow going off in the distance, running back and forth. And I'm happy with this. So here we have a useful application of the Boston Airport, which you can't really have a lot of people at unless you make them miserable for the most part. So... I don't know. There you have it, folks. I feel like the, the video's losing momentum. We're going to call it quits here. On this note, this is The Black Knight. Have a great night. Now, here's a little bonus for you. And I mean little. This unit is currently in ah! default mode. I'm not sure. I'll just decide later. Acknowledged. Remaining in factory default mode. You can enable this unit's personality subroutine at any time by utilizing the vocal interface. Identity confirmed. This unit is ready to serve. Who is that? It's Giovanni. Another one of my pizza bots, but... Wow! He just shrinks right down. Look at that. That is a cool glitch. Nice. Little bit of a log jam. And, oddly enough, of course, you can't see it from Rohagden Beach. What a look cool. See, yeah, it would have been right there. It's there, you just can't see it. And just for good measure, I made three more. They're named Airport Security 1, 2, and 3. And that filled out all the supply lines. So, now when we look at this, click show supply lines. Vroom, vroom. Everything's covered. At least from these two places. Not so many from up here, but just still some. Still got some things going on. And no, I'm not upgrading them. There's just... Until they fix that bug, which we know when that's going to happen. <laughs> Probably not unless I'm really, really, really rich. Airport security. 